So we're going to give this a bit of a wide berth. I'm going to take out the wolf because, you know, green energy. That's what we're doing. Green energy. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Cry of All. Let me quickly bring you up to speed about what I've done between episodes. Largely not a whole lot. I did make some new batteries. So our batteries were pretty trashed after the thumper took us out. I repaired a couple of them to make one good one on the tinker table, and then I made a couple of more. So over here, yep, and they're already fully charged. There we go. Three 100% batteries right there. Let me get those installed so I don't go out without them, as I often do. Battery, battery, and battery. And I was having to think between episodes, and I was mentioning this at the end of the last one, these mechs that are down in the vehicle bay, they seem very, very resource intensive, but I think I got this. So I was taking a look at some of like the, uh, the big one, like the behemoth. All right, a ton of structural plating, a ton of actuators, impulse engines, high-tech components. It seems daunting, but it's actually not. I can make all of this stuff. Not immediately, but I can begin to make all of this stuff. So I've been putting together some materials because the base materials to make the components for the mechs are actually not that bad. So if we go down into here, I set some stuff up earlier. I've made a couple of impulse engines. I believe we did that the last episode. So the structural plating. Okay, steel and mechanical components. Mechanical components are actually pretty easy to make. The actuators steel, plastic, mineral oil, and more mechanical components. I can do all of this. This is fairly straightforward. So what if we maxed out here? Yeah, my only limiting factor here is the mineral oil and the plastics, the steel and the components I've got all day. You know what? Make me four of those. And then after you're done with that, go ahead and max me out on structural plating. Eight structural plating. I can do that. Now, those mechanical components, those are fairly easy to put together, I believe. We're looking at, yeah, this is no problem. Some steel, some rubber, and some flux powder. I can do that all day long. I think the only thing I'd really be limited on right now is the rubber, only because I haven't been prioritizing gathering rubber. I've got some more steel cooking down in the furnace here. In fact, I bet that's getting about ready to be done. Oh, uh, yeah, it's got a while, but yeah, we're, we got some more steel coming in here. Well, this is good. This is my new plan. I'm going to slowly build all of these materials up. I'm going to go put the things in the vehicle box up here so I don't lose track of them. This is now the vehicle box, okay? This is where we're putting all the stuff for the vehicles. I got some, I don't think the battery lives in here, but I've got fuel cells, I've got my impulse engines, got some gasoline in case I need that for something. Let's go ahead and dump all of the universal actuators in here, and then when we're done with the structural plating, we'll throw those in. Oh, and somewhere up along here, I got a completionist point. What did I do? Oh, I did the uh, the Thumper event. Yes, I did. I died, but I got a Thumper migration. Okay, cool. There's some more learning points. I'm already up to 230 on that. All right, structural plating in here. There we go. Ten of those, four of those, two of those. How does that kind of break me down in terms of looking at that behemoth unit? Okay, so 30 structural plating. I've almost got the actuators. Yeah, the impulse engine's not too big a deal, although we need pragmium for that. I got two out of six of them right now. And then the high-tech components. Well, I've got some of those sitting in a box. The limiting factor on that is gold. I have enough gold nuggets to make a couple of gold bars. I won't bother putting them in the furnace right now. May as well go out and see if we can get some more. And that's kind of my basic plan for today, is broad exploration and, more importantly, resource gathering. So I want to be focusing on metal. Well, I'm, I'm going to say everything, basically, because I kind of need everything. But metal will be a priority. Any ore that I can scrape up and hopefully any gold out of that. I'm not completely opposed to going back to the pragmium and seeing if we can get some more of that. I realized when I was fighting the thumper, when I was looking at it in editing, the reason I didn't get a slowdown effect on the thumper is because I didn't have helium grenades. I had high explosive grenades. That was the problem. It said AG and I read that as helium, but no, it was high explosive. And boy, those thumpers just eat those for breakfast. Okay, am I going to bother taking hoverboard? And I think my short answer is no. This is going to be more of a slow exploration. Do I have food? Yeah, tons of it. MREs, canned fish. I am good to go. Let's put the canned fish. Actually, the MREs will go off. The canned fish won't. So let's prioritize eating those. Let me just tidy up my inventory here and we're on our way. 
Alrighty, looking nice and light here. Everything's looking good. Batteries are all charged. Got my implants in there, my new toxin filtration implant. The apart suit is looking pretty good, not bad. Actually remember to bring the helium grenades this time. Got the explosives in case we feel like blowing up some pragmium. Where, apart from the salt flats, what is my plan here? So there are a lot of areas of the salt flats that we haven't looked at, but the last time we looked there, we got that big guy who just one-shot at us. Oh, did I leave, leave hoverboard up here? Oh, sorry, hoverboard. I'm so sorry. Uh, can I, I think I can summon you. Hang on. Yep, I can just summon you here. No problem. I'm going to put you back in the garage. Just put that in the garage. Thank you very much. We're not going to take hoverboard. Where else might I theoretically go? Like the south, I've broadly covered the south. And I really feel, let me pan out here. I feel I'm desperately missing a teleporter down in here. It might be, someone in comments said this, it might be the dark patch right down here, because these are all kind of in dark patches. I might swing down there. I probably walked right by it without seeing it. And I'd also wouldn't mind going up north, because there is an area up here that I haven't uncovered. Boy, I've got a lot of the map. 73% of the map explored. That's not bad. You know what my best move would be? Let's clear out this block up here and see what lives there. But let's not leave without going right next door to our favorite little mining spot here and getting all of this out. Any of those nice? Yeah, there's a little uh, gathering spot over there I can take advantage of. Uh, with flux powder in play, I should probably grab a little bit of the potassium. A little bit won't hurt, although with this mining spot right next door, I don't even really need to sweat that. I can get that at any time. Focus on iron because we need to make steel and copper will never ever hurt. Look at that, three gold nuggets right out of the gate. I'm just gonna uh, pile in the stuff that I just got before we go any further. Uh, that, I'll leave that. And you know what, I'll probably just dump those rocks. I'd love to find seeds. The garden is very, very empty and I don't, I don't immediately, I mean, I know seeds are somewhat random, but what are we gathering to get seeds? And I'm, is it fiber? Is it fiber the problem? Because I've not gathered fiber in about a million years. So I'm going to pick up some fibers along the way, see if we can get something for the garden. Oh, P.S. I'll also be exterminating any of the local wildlife because when I get back, I'd like to set up another biogenerator. I'm pretty sure I'm in a position where I can just get rid of the gasoline generator. I don't really think we need that. We got two, four, rather, four solar panels working, two bio generators. I don't really think my power needs are that extreme. So unfortunately, all of you are vital, vital green energy. Just having a quick snack of berries here. No reason to not have food if it's right on the road. No reason to dip into the MREs if we don't need to. Nice little purple herb over there. Look at me picking up fibers like a day one scrub here. Fibers, sticks, wood. It's all valuable. That's the thing. So dead ahead should be the installation with the spitters, as I recall. I don't have a particular interest to go in there, but right around it is that big black splotch that I haven't cleared out yet. So we're going to give this a bit of a wide berth. I'm going to take out the wolf because, you know, green energy. That's what we're doing. Green energy. And if there's a mining spot right next door, no reason not to pop our head in there. Uh, you're dead. I'm not going to bother looting you because I don't really need toxin or anything like that. But let's start clearing out all of this. You kids work on that. I'm going to go up here and get this thing. Yep, definitely spitters. That's what I thought. There's a lot of good loot boxes in there, but I don't know if it's worth the effort of going through the spitters to get them. I mean, it kind of is. There's some. There was some good stuff in there the last time we went in, but it was a hard, hard slog to get through all those guys. And then the lizards and the snakes and the, oh, everything is trying to eat me and bite me in the face. I'd rather just go up and explore some new areas gathering as I go. Uh, you're dead. Okay, getting into the unknown area here. Let me just take this guy out before he causes a problem. I'll grab the berries. Again, nice little snack on the road. Now, what is going to be up here? I mean, I'm gonna guess it's largely more of the same wolves and boars and that kind of thing little mining over there okay we might go take advantage of that in a second traditional spider who will be no threat to us whatsoever and you all right where'd the spider go there he is there he is okay you come here come here come here you're dead now all right team team everybody out everybody out let's get some work done around here 
and trying to keep it tidy as I go. I'll dump the rocks. I have no pressing need for rocks. I can get rocks all day. Probably just eat all of those berries right now. How are we broadly doing? Yeah, things are looking okay. We got like one more gold nugget in there somewhere. Didn't see that come in. Good stuff for the bioreactor. Some meat and some mushrooms. I can make some more MREs when I get home. Actually, a little more meat would not be the worst thing. All right, tidy that up. How are we looking? I could theoretically dump the sulfur powder or the potassium nitrate if I needed to. Again, I've got a spot right next to the base to gather that all day long. One thing I'm definitely going to have to make when I get home is another remote control for the drone. I'll be kind of shocked if it makes it through this little expedition here. Those are fairly straightforward, as I recall. Uh, what? I'm just going to follow the road for right now and kind of get an idea of where that is leading. Go back to some kind of weapon here. Yeah, there we go. Come here, you, chief. Ah, uh, we're in bear country. That's that's broadly fine. Uh, this boar is completely stuck on that, and now you're going to bleed to death. You know what? Didn't even have to wait, waste the last bullet. You just keeled right over. Let me grab this, and then we'll take a poke at Mr. Bear. We are going to quite literally poke the bear. And by poke the bear, I mean poke him with a bullet. Uh, in his in his backside until he goes away. Problem with this area is I struggle with pathing as much as these guys do. It's very, very easy to bump into something like, you know, a tree or something like that. So these sort of boreal areas, the pine forest here, not my favorite in terms of combat. I can get stuck too. Had that problem before, haven't we, Dave? Boy, I bet it would be pretty dark out if I couldn't, you know, see in the dark be terrible if I was bumbling around in the dark here like I commonly have done pretty much this entire run. No, no, no. No, no. We have night vision now. Permanent night vision. Well, I say permanent. I mean, it is going to degrade at some point and I'll have to make another one or put a couple together or however that's going to go down. But yeah, it's um, it's 10 o'clock at night and I can see just fine. Thank you. Well, I've uncovered most of that mystery area. Not much. Just traditional boreal forests, some blue snakes, some bears, that kind of thing. I'm gonna keep pressing north for right now, just to clear off that little fog of war that's right above me there. And then kind of make my next move. I'm thinking back to the salt flats. See if we could grab maybe a little bit more pragmium. Pardon me as if I talk while I'm murdering you. I'm I'm sorry, you're just not that much of a threat anymore. Alright, let's reevaluate here. Where am I? First of all, I am way up here. Okay. I could just bang west and uncover all of that. Looks like one long lake. A lot of lakeshore property over there. And that would uncover quite a bit more of the map. Or I could just go right down into the salt flats. It's I wouldn't even bother with the teleporter. It's a short hop right over there. Actually, there's some areas over here that weirdly I have not uncovered. Here's what I'm going to do. Okay, I've got a plan. It's not a great plan, but it's my plan. I'm going to book it east and just clear out that area of the coast and then work my way down into the salt flats. How's the inventory looking? Okay, we can eat the berries. That'll be one slot cleared out. That's good. Uh, any rocks or anything I should be getting rid of? No, actually, I kind of want all of this. Even the logs. I'm embarrassingly low on logs. Getting a lot of herbs. Tons of herbs around here, so doing very well with those. I want the meat and I want the mushrooms because, again, I want to make MREs when we get home. Maybe I'll kind of chill on the meat and the mushrooms. I've probably got what I need. I will, however, grab that red herb. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Meteorites. Meteorites. Now, comments have been telling me over and over and over again, very, very persistently and sometimes aggressively, that's where the gold is. If you want a lot of gold, that's where you need to go. Okay, it's over there. Well, I'm right next to a teleporter. I could zip over here and be there in no time. It's not like it's the longest walk. It's actually not that bad a walk. I could just go right down the road and be right over there. It seems like a really, really long way. I've got half an hour to do it, though. You know what? I can afford the health. We're not... All right, the meteor thing has me has meant I'm probably not going to go to the salt flats right now anyway. So let's go ahead and lose a little bit of health. Take the teleporter just to kind of speed things up. I've got med kits. I've got a bandage. I've got that tincture thing. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, but then I never do. 
All right, let's just slap a quick bandage on after the trip. It clears out an inventory slot, if nothing else. Got to be a little careful with the ammo here. I don't have unlimited ammo. In fact, I think I'm going to go over to laser instead of this. Um, boy, you're in a fussy spot, aren't you? I'm going to go over here and shoot you. Wow, their aggro range seems really low now. I wonder if, I wonder if that's a function of me being a little beefier. Like, I can almost pet this guy on the nose, and he has no interest. I mean, it's not going to stop me from killing him. Oh, yeah, laser's not as effective, Dave. Keep shooting. There we go. I wonder if that's a function of, like, I've got better armor and better weapons, and they're like, oh, you know, we used to mess with that guy, that guy a lot, but maybe we won't mess with him quite as much right now. I see this mining area. Let's just forgo that. I can catch that on the way back or something. Let's go head up, which should be like dead ahead, right? Yeah, up and to the northeast. Northeast. Oh, bear, bear, bear and wolf, bear and wolf, bear and wolf. Uh, you know what? Make this simple. Oh, bear, wolf, and crab. Okay, the crab I am... You guys are totally stuck, aren't you? The crab's the guy who's going to make it in. One shot at the crab. Um, this is kind of funny. I might just sit here for a few minutes. Having a problem, guys? I'm not going to waste a grenade on you. There we go. Freed you up. One of you was stuck on the other. Oh, hang on, hang on. I think there's another teleporter in here. Let me just swing in. That looks like teleporter territory to me. Yeah, it's got to be. Got to be. All right. Well, I think I've almost uncovered all the teleporters. I, I feel if comments, if I'm remembering comments correctly, they said there was 13. Oh, this is not teleporter territory. This is Pragmium Queen territory. That's where that lady's going to pop up at some point. Okay, well, I'll clear the fog of war out, but we're not going to stick around long here, just in case a second event happens. Now, allegedly, there's seven of these little piles somewhere. Oh, these are going to be even harder to find than the space debris ones, aren't they? All right, well, let's just keep crisscrossing. If we find them, great. If we don't find all of them, that's fine. If we don't find any of them, well... You know what? At least we uncovered some more of the map. There's one. I see one over here. Now, remind me, I don't think... Can the drones do this? Oh, they can. It just takes them, like, forever. Okay, that's fine. Uh, well, I was gonna say I'll go murder a wolf, but if I put my weapon in my hand, you'll come back into my pocket. Which is not ideally what I want. What I will do is... Oh, darn it. Same thing if you eat, Dave. Let the drone do his job. Oh, I consumed that for the first time. You're right, I did. Let me go accept that. Uh, 441 learning points. We should probably spend those at some point. Ah, there's only three gold nuggets. I mean, that's cool. I'm not not, not, not having them. I'm not going to refuse them. But I could probably pick up three gold nuggets just going out doing random mining. It's, you know, it's great that there's a fixed location where I'll find them. That That's very cool. But it's kind of hoping for a lot more gold for an event like that. Yeah, there's another one over there. Hang on, let me swing in here, get one of the drones working. And actually, the rest of you, you go get that iron and you go get that tree. Again, somewhat embarrassingly low on logs back at the house. I'll go gather this while you're doing it because you're taking your darn sweet time. Yeah, five gold nuggets out of that. That's pretty cool. I'll certainly at least come up with enough for one gold bar by the time we're done with this. Two would be great. I've got enough at home to make two. So if I could make four... Well, that would be double my gold bar output now, wouldn't it? All right, kind of reaching the edge of the event here. I see you, Mr. Bear. I've covered a lot of the bottom half of this event. I'm going to go up to the top bit now, up by the water. A uh, bit of an aggro issue. Bit of an aggro issue. Okay, just got bit by a snake. Good thing I've got my new fantastic antitoxin gland in here. Yeah, you're not so toxic now, are you, sweetheart? I don't even think it's really worth using one of the med kits. My, my health will come back. Again, I'm not planning on getting into a completely aggressive combat here. We're just kind of scouting around. All right, I am outside of the event. Put yourself back in the circle here. Let's keep looking. Keep looking. These are really hard to find. Ah, one dead wolf and another meteorite right over there. So you go get that. And you get that. And get some sand while we're here. We can always use sand around the house. Never hurts to have a little bit of sand around here. Uh, got nothing to do. Go get a tree and go get some more sand. All right, what do we get out of this? We get six gold nuggets. Okay, that's more promising. That's that's more what I was looking to see around here. Keep it moving. How about you get a weapon out? Oh, another one right there. 
Nice. Very easy to spot when they're on the beach. All right, my inventory's jacked. More gold nuggets out of that. Great, up to 26. Oh, this is good. Okay. All right, I was a little disappointed with the first haul, but now we're getting somewhere. I don't think we need a tree. Okay, sticks. I don't need sticks. How about the herbs? I've gone on a crazy herb gathering mission here. Is there any, like, ones I've got tons of? The purple herbs I got a lot of, but those are very, very handy. I could cook up some meat, but that's still not going to reduce my inventory. Uh, you know what? I'll actually ditch the fibers. The only point of picking up the fibers was to see if there was seeds in them, but I haven't found any seeds. So no, oh, another one right here. No real point in keeping the fibers on hand. Let's make sure we got room for all of these goodies. All right, another five gold nuggets there. That'll be, what, three gold bars I can do when I get home? Five, really, because I got the materials there. That's going to be some high-tech components, and that's going to get me closer to that behemoth. Shoot you a bunch of times, and shoot you a bunch of times. Really, Crab? Really? Laser for you. You know, of all the creatures in Cryofall, the crabs are the ones who are the weirdest aggro problem. Like, they will come at you from half a world away. Their buddy the bear and the boar... The boar's like, nah, I ain't doing this guy. No, this guy's got, like, an apart suit, and he's got a plasma rifle. And the crab's, like, YOLO charging me to try and take me out. The crabs are so weird around here. Apparently, I've been up by here before. There's an old campfire of mine still struggling to find the last two of the ore things, of the meteorite things. Um, I'll just shoot you. Wow, one-shotting snake. Very, very nice. Snakes, not as much of a threat as they used to be. My inventory is 100% jacked at this point. I have no inventory space. So if these things are going to turn up, I'd prefer they did it sooner rather than later. Don't even know why I'm killing you because I don't have the space to take your meat. Yeah, I know. I know. Everything is terrible. Is there anything I can get rid of? I um, probably don't need all of that sand. Could get rid of that. How about we loot you and then... Okay, we got a little bit of stuff there. Ah, oh, there's another one. I see another one up there. Okay, send, uh, let me just see what else I could possibly get rid of here. Not a lot. Okay, I've got ten mushrooms, so I don't need that single mushroom. Let's ditch that. You guys go here, and by you guys, I mean just you, really, because I can't afford to pick up anything else. Yeah, another six gold nuggets out of that. What does that bring me up to? Is that over 40? 37. I'd love to find the last one and just top that off so I can get four gold bars when I get home. No, already seen this one. Oh, this this last one's just gonna kill me, isn't it? Now I tell you, this last one is just completely eluding me. I have been back and forth across this map a bunch of times. I'm gonna give it like maybe another minute or so, because the, the event's almost over anyway. If I can't find it then, I'll probably just make a play for home. Because I've got to weigh how much effort I'm really willing to put into this versus you know, I'm aging here and I'm getting closer to death, just wandering around the Cryofall map, trying to find one last thing that, in the grand scheme of things, I, I can live without. I can get more gold. Yeah, I'm gonna give it... I'm just gonna go to the edge of the map here. If I don't find it by then, I will see you guys at home. Well, while I'm up here, I may as well just uncover a tiny little bit more of the map. No reason not to do that. Kind of get a feel for what's up in here in case I want to come back here later. Looking like the usual grassland that we've seen before. Oh, we're back to day one snakes too, not even the blue snakes. Okay. Let me just see what's in this little circular area over here. Oh, we're back to blue snakes. Uh, do you guys have any kind of turf war? Is it like a gang thing? Blue versus green? Do you guys like each other? Are you openly hostile to each other? Like, like, what's the turf rules around here? Okay, pulling back into base here. I took a teleporter to do it, knowing that I'd be back at base. I'm not really super worried about my health regen at that point. I have a lot of cleaning up to do around here. I want to start by getting some stuff on the fire here. Make sure we've got the food we need for the old MREs, because we don't have any of those left except for the ones that we picked up. So, ten of you... 60. Wow, I got a lot of meat. Well, I did slaughter everything, so that's fair. I to Oh, I need that charcoal, too. I absolutely slaughtered everything that was going, so yeah, pretty fair that I've got a bunch of meat. Uh, no sticks for that. Good thing I got some when I was swinging into base and more charcoal that I need. Where'd my mushrooms go? Go ahead. Do that. Thank you. Now, let's more importantly go investigate the whole 
furnace scenario up here. Looks like everything is done. So let me pull this out of here and yet again, more charcoal than I need to make steel. Uh, go with, uh, sure, copper. Copper is fun. Everybody loves copper. I don't have any fuel for this, but I do have 89 logs. I know I should probably go over to the, the electric generator for this, or the electric furnace rather, but logs are so easy to get, and it's no drain on my power supply. So I'm inclined to kind of keep it as is. I don't have any specific reason to change that. How much gold do I have in here? I got two bars, and then over here I've got 23. Well, look at that. A perfect even 60. More charcoal in here that I can pull out. Fantastic. That's going to get me more steel that I've got right there. I I have nowhere to put anything right now. Ditch the tree. We'll throw that out. Okay, I have to do a little bit of tidying up before we're getting anything done, apparently. Now, here's something I can do to save some space. I can put my third bio generator up. I think this might just be the bio room, bio generator room. If I put that there, that's probably going to be totally in the way of the door. But I could put it down here. That works. Let's get this built, and then I can fill it up with all of the animal byproducts that I just got off the road. Okay, some bones and some leather. And what else did I get out of there? Should have got some fur. Yep, there we go. Fur can go in there. Fantastic. That'll keep the power going, keep the lights on for a little bit. Anything else that I'm missing? Oh, animal fat. Of course, that can go in there. How are the other two doing? Are we basically... Yep, that's pretty full up. And you could use some stuff, but I'll fill you up. You're doing fine for right now. Great. So that's less... Well, not less gasoline that I need, but less... More power equals less demand on the gasoline generator. So theoretically, just breaking that down at some point. Now, get me... My gold nuggets, I know that doesn't match the recipe, but this does. If I do this and this, there we go. That's going to be six gold bars plus the two I already have in play. That's going to be a lot of high-tech components. All right, let me get some more stuff going on here. i got to remember when I'm out in the road, I have a heck of a lot of ore packed away in storage that I haven't even done anything with. i got to get all of this cycled through all of the furnaces here and get that going. I keep grabbing ore... I'm like, oh, well, I'll, I'll deal with that later. And then I never deal with that later. It's still sitting here. Have we made a gold bar yet? I'm very excited about gold bars. No, even in the electric generator, this is going to take about a million trillion years. What I can do in the meantime is make some MREs. I should have everything that I need for that. Uh, barring some salt. That's fine. I should have... Uh, I don't have any salt up here. I think I put... No, there's some salt. Okay, I'm swimming in salt. I've got it all over the place. Because you kind of need it all over the place. It's something you use in... Weirdly, a lot of different weird recipes. Uh, go ahead and max me out on that. There's 10 MREs right there. Fantastic. And I actually have some more mushrooms cooking, so I could theoretically get some more of those. That is probably an excellent place to call it on Cryofall for today. I think a good little day's work here. Got out, got a bunch of gold. Bunch of gold. And that's going to equal more high-tech components. More high-tech components means more things that get me closer to a behemoth. And I bet you, with everything that I just got out of the road today, I can put together a lot more steel, a lot more mechanical components. I think the next time we come back to, to Cryofall, I'm going to be ready to make more of these things. And I'm going to be moving very, very quickly towards a mech suit. And I could not be more excited about that. But we'll pick up some more of this again next time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. I totally understand that. If I were visiting a restaurant and it was on fire, I, I probably wouldn't go there again. Not, not quickly, anyway. Not until I saw some more reviews on the place, and those reviews specifically said, place burns down much less than it used to. Oh, you have a migraine or a rattlesnake bite. Well, this is wicked simple, Linda. Have you been bitten by a snake? If the answer is no, then it's a migraine. And, and my accountant's on fire. My accountant's on fire uh, because water plus electricity is bad. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman.